Scott Brown here. This clamp is the best because you can ratchet it with one hand, you can drop it into the workbenches that we built, and you can slide it under a track and then use the track to cut things without worrying about it slipping. More about that later. In the meantime, welcome to another exciting episode. Well, there you go, you can cut polycarbonate sheets with a track saw. <sighs> you may have seen me wearing these boots over the last couple of years. I love them, they're my favorite work boots that I've had. But uh, these ones, these ones have holes in them. Look at that. So I got some new ones. These ones look like these ones, once upon a time. I actually reached out to the company, John, John Bull. I reached out to John Bull to see if I could get some free ones. <laughs> and uh, I didn't get a response. But I love these boots, so I'm happy to buy another pair. The only drawback is, the other week there, I stood on a nail and the nail went right through the sole. I mean, you saw those boots, they're pretty worn out. It's pretty understandable, but... I mean, is that meant to happen? So I'm not uh, using that polycarbonate today, but I am at my father's house of all places. The reason I am here, this shower needs to come out. See, the problem is, there's a crack right here. The thing with these plastic shower trays is they go up behind the lining. So to take the tray out, you need to take the lining out. And that's what I'm gonna do now. walls are really thin throughout this house and uh, when they did the shower they needed more space in order to get the pipes somewhere. The shower is packed out on this ripping here and that's what that was covering. This board is like six mil cement board, but they put a layer on it that makes it look like tiles. Success! The upstand looks like it finishes here, so I don't have to remove any ply. For the shower tray to be removed. Hey, how's it going? Ah, new boots. And uh, I ordered this through Amazon. Probably shouldn't have done that because they added $45 just for shipping. The price of living in New Zealand. But this is what I got. These are the clamps for, uh, for that workbench that we made. What else did I get? Oh, this isn't that interesting. Basically just sunglasses for the camera. Adjustable sunglasses for your camera. Oh, and the last thing. This is like a proper mail time, isn't it? Catches all the sawdust. Remember how I said this thing was portable? It's not portable. I've detached the legs because when you unfold the legs and try and stand it up, it puts too much pressure on them and they actually started coming loose. So they're separate now. See the screws? I'm gonna have to think of something. So how do these clamps work? If you've seen these clamps before, you'll know exactly how they work. Goes down this hole, and then you can turn it. 
drop it on the thing you're clamping. One hand, and it's tight. That's the advantage of these clamps. The other reason they are this shape is to go with your track saw. So, so you can clamp from underneath and still run your track saw over the top. Wow. Boom. Oh, so yeah, that's why I have these clamps. And that's why we made the bench like this as well, because you can clamp from almost anywhere on the bench. While I was at my old man's, I picked up one of his old marples chisels. I asked him for it. He's got so many hand tools there, it's ridiculous. He's got the old Yankee screwdrivers, he's got dozens of chisels, just all sorts of gear that he's not using. So I asked if I could have this as a sort of tool belt chisel. It's a little bit blunt and in need of a sharpen. With this bench, you can do that. Now with these holes, you can like drop little things in there like that. It's one way of... Uh... Or you could even clamp it if you want to go... Not bad for a start, that's for sure. So yeah, that's why I have this clamp. And that's why I have this workbench. And uh, I've got to admit something. This workbench is too big. I'm going to have to build a smaller one.